This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Um, now, what I wanted to do is sort of a, do a little introduction to a playlist that uh, we're starting with this video, which is basically going to be sort of a Q and A playlist, um, sort of facts, you know, frequently answered que uh, asked questions, and um, sort of. A, open-ended playlist where if you have any questions if you'd like to know something maybe regarding regarding the videos that i'm putting out um, regarding the mathematics regarding the comic books um, regarding any aspect of anything that i'm sharing um, if you like my perspective uh, then please post a comment on this video and we'll consider this to be the introduction to a q a period uh, with me with chicho and because people have um, a comment i've had a fair bit of comments uh, thank you for the comments the compliments um and i do take it as a compliment uh, there's been a few people that have commented that they would like to um you know it'd be great to sit down and have a conversation together um maybe you know over a drink over tea coffee going for a walk um that, that puff puff whatever it might be right um so that's sort of a recurring theme that's come up in the comments. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is call this playlist In Conversation with Chicho. And it's going to be really informal. Um, it will most likely, almost all of it, be ASMR format. Um, and because this is going to be sort of a, just a conversation we're having, uh, please take what I say with a grain of salt. Uh, because I'm not sure what type of questions are going to come my way. There has already been some heavy questions um, and comments, uh, so I might start tackling those. I'm pretty sure I will. And there is some lighter uh, comments and requests, such as you know what I like, you know, uh, top five list of animation comic books and stuff like this, right? And uh, just to get the ball rolling, because uh, some of the stuff that I've had, some of the questions that I've had, is sort of you know what am I some of my favorite books some of my, my favorite comic books animations or whatnot um i sort of went through and um you know printed off uh, a couple of sheets two or three sheets of uh, just a handful of uh subjects that will give you my some of my favorite favorites of okay and um what we're going to do if, you, if you're only interested in a certain segment let me tell you what we're going to do i'm just going to give you a five uh, books uh five more books anyway uh list uh, because a long time ago i, I you know uh, when i first started doing this i was asked you know what some of my favorite uh, books were math books were. so i put out a video regarding five books and most of those books were uh science and there's one comic book graphic novel on there so i'll do five more um books uh, i'm gonna give you a top five list of movies uh, war movies specifically um, i'll touch on animation and i'm gonna give you uh, sort of a uh, top list of some comic books, okay? Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be buttons on the on this page here somewhere where you can skip uh, to what you're interested in. Um, and I'm not gonna elaborate too much on these subjects, but if, you know, one of the things we could do definitely, uh, if you want me to do some analysis on any of these things that I'm listing, um, let me know, I'll make a specific video for those uh, because I could definitely go off on some of these uh, some of the things that i'm listing here and if you're interested in more material like this uh, more like some of my favorite things i guess movies animation comic books whatever it might be uh, if you go to my site chicho.com uh, in the about page um, and that's basically by, been my about page since i was online um, and i haven't updated updated the list but basically i give a little write-up where I say basically who I am is a reflection of what I've learned, right? Uh, what I've been exposed to, what I've taken to heart, right? What, what, what's what been resonated with me, right? Uh, so there's a list of a whole bunch of more things uh, that I've listed on that site, on that page. Uh, so if this interests you, there's uh, more you can find uh, related to the stuff. Um, so again, uh, comments, requests, uh, anything you'd like to know please post it on this video and i'll 
address um, whatever questions uh, that come up as best of my abilities. Uh, okay, as far as some of my favorite things, uh, so books, movies, animations, and comic books, uh, here is a list of five books uh, that have influenced me a lot. Okay, and I, in as far as I'm concerned, the five of the best books that I've ever read. Um, okay, uh, the first one, uh, Education and the Significance of Life, by Jiddu Krishnamurti. Okay, it was printed in 1953 or 55. I looked online and there's conflicting dates on it, and it is this book is available for free online. Uh, Education and the Significance of Life, and it's very powerful. Um, is influenced the, pers the way I look at education in, in a big way. Okay. Um, the second book, uh, you would have seen this, me comment on this before when we did uh, How to Read a Textbook, uh, Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt by Chris Hedges and uh, Joe Sacco when it was printed in 2012. Absolutely brilliant. Um, third book, Wilhelm Reich in Hell. Uh, by Robert Anton Wilson, and this was uh, this came out in 1984, and 1984 that's a, a pretty interesting date to come out of. Um, come for this book to come out, uh, Wilhelm Reichenhaus, brilliant book, brilliant book. Um, fourth book, uh, Salvadoran, the psychedelic essence of Salvia Divinorum, uh, by D. M. Turner. 1996 it was published and this book is available for free online as well um, and huge respect to dm turner um, he approached the psychedelic uh, world in a scientific manner and um, decided to be one of the most important psychonauts uh, to ever uh, walk this earth uh, the fifth book um, is Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace by Gore Vidal. Uh, it came out in 2002. A very important, very important book. Uh, so a couple of, um, I guess, uh, uh, three political books, one education book, and one uh, life book, I guess. Um, so those are five uh, movies, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, five books, as far as I'm concerned, five of the, well, five of the most influential books that I've ever read. Uh, five movies, I've had a lot of requests, some requests anyway, to um, list some movies. And I have, you know, a whole bunch of movies on my site uh, that I've listed there. But uh, so I can't give you a top five movies because for me, the genres matter, uh, the subject matter, the subject matters, right? Uh, so I just picked uh, five war movies because these are, I watched a lot of war movies in my life uh, because it's related to politics, I guess, politics, economics, everything, and analysis, and sort of related to a lot of the board games I've played. Um, so five unforgettable war movies, like really, okay. Uh, first one, hands down, this is the one that if anybody, um, you know, asks me uh, an amazing movie, this is one of the ones I list. If they ask me for any political war-based movie, society uh, movie, uh, this would be it, uh, which is uh, Come and See um, by uh, uh, L.M. Klimov. Uh, it's a Russian movie uh, about the war on the Eastern Front. I believe it was Belarus. I've watched it. All of these movies I've watched multiple times. Uh, and it came out in 1985. I think it came out in 1986, but for some reason the website was saying 1985. Um, it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, blow you away. Um, the second movie, war movie, Paths of Glory by uh, Stanley Kubrick, and it came out in 1957. Um, and Kubrick also directed uh, Doctor Strangelove, right? If you're, uh, if you like your cult movies, uh, Paths of Glory, whew, what a powerful movie! It will make you angry. Um, Apocalypse Now by Francis Ford Coppola, 1979. Uh, overwhelming, powerful, powerful movie. Uh, uh, number four, uh, Lawrence of Arabia. 
by David Lean, directed by David Lean, as Peter O'Toole, Omar Sharif, uh, and a whole bunch of people. Um, and it came out in 1962. Um, so that movie, for a long time, was my favorite movie of all time, and it is still one of my favorite movies. Just visually, it's stunning, right? So Lawrence of Arabia, and that, just as a side note, um, complimentary to that movie would be Dr. Zhivago, and uh, same director. And the fifth movie is, um, again, Stanley Kubrick, uh, which is a full metal jacket. Uh, Vietnam War came out, uh, the movie came out in 1987, and it came out around the same time as Platoon, and Platoon was getting all the, all the media attention. Full metal jacket was, you know, secondary, but to me, full metal jacket was, um, yeah, blew away. Uh, Platoon. Platoon's a fantastic movie, but Full Metal Jacket was something else, right? Because it, it is Kubrick. Um, and that's uh, five war movies I can give you recommendation of. Um, as far as animation, there's been a lot of uh, people asking me about animation. And <laughs> I broke it down into three categories. Uh, because animation is huge. I watch, as far as I'm concerned, uh, m some of the most brilliant movies ever made have been animation. Uh, some of the most uh, important movies ever made have been animation. So what I'll, uh, what I'll give you, I broke this down into three categories. Uh, one of the first one being, uh, I'm gonna give you a list of uh, 10 full length animated movies that I've watched multiple times. So this isn't, you know, I wanted to do the 10 best animated movies, but they're very difficult to do because again, it's, uh, it depends on the genre and, uh, you know, there are amazing movies out there that I've only watched once. I've only had the opportunity to watch once, right? So these are, uh, we'll call this the 10, 10 full length animated movies that I have watched multiple times. Uh, first one, and this is uh, in no order. Um, the first one on the list is Tekken Kinkirit. Um, the English name would be Black and White. It came out in 2006 and it's based on a manga series from 1993-1994. And wow, what a brilliant movie. Really, just visually stunning. And the story was absolutely magnificent. Um, and after watching the movie, I tracked down the manga and I read the manga and the manga is fantastic as well. Really amazing. Okay. Uh, if the first five minutes uh, of that movie, 10 minutes of the movie doesn't blow you away visually, I don't know what will. Um, the second movie um, is from 1988 uh, from Studio Ghibli, uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Okay. And it's, wow, what a powerful movie. Um, it's the movie that I, um, it's the to go to movie um, that I uh, uh, expose people to if they've never watched animation, if they're into uh, more serious uh, movies and stuff like this, if they're into, you know, they brush off animation. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies is what I introduced them to. And it was directed by um, Isiao Is. Isio uh, Takahata, uh, Japanese Studio Ghibli. Uh, Ghibli. Um, third movie, absolutely brilliant movie. Uh, it's sort of a um, French Canadian, I believe, French Canadian, sort of multiple countries involved in this. Uh, Thief and the Cobbler. Um, the production for this um, started in 1964 and they were able to finally finish it in 1995. It, came out, uh, I think it was released in 1993, but I think it was released before that. Um, I remember finding out that this movie, it cost a lot of money. It's absolutely brilliant. It's like Esherish, um, as far as the animation is concerned, uh, just layered. Um, but the production was taking so long, it's considered to be the longest, uh, production movie there there's ever been um, and uh, at some point I believe 
the DVD for this was being released with cereal boxes, uh, like one of the children's cereal boxes. They included a DVD of this in the cereal box, right? Um, it should be much, much uh, better known. Uh, fourth movie on the list, Cowboy Bebop, uh, the movie in 19, uh, 2001. Uh, amazing movie, uh, amazing movie. Um, fifth movie, The Prophet. It came out in 2014. Uh, it's got multiple directors. It's uh, based on uh, the book by the Lebanese uh, writer, artist, philosopher, I guess they, they mention here. Uh, Kahalil Gibran. Uh, and it's amazing. It's fantastic animation, really. Uh, I've already watched it two or three times. Uh, uh, it came out, I was just exposed to it a few months ago. Uh, well, in the last year, anyway. Uh, fantastic movie and great, uh, great stories. And the animation styles are beautiful, beautiful. Uh, very reminiscent of Animatrix, uh, The Prophet. Uh, the sixth movie, The Iron Giant, uh, 1999. Uh, brilliant, brilliant movie. Very powerful movie. Uh, the seventh movie, uh, Princess Mononoke, uh, 1997, Studio Ghibli again. Uh, directed by uh, Miyakazi Heio. I'm sorry about the names, uh, but Miyazaki, okay. Uh, Princess Mononoke, amazing movie, uh, fantastic theme. And again, uh, from Miyakazi, and this movie, uh, Miyakazi's movies have certain theme associated with them, which is environmental. And this movie as well uh, just blew me away. Uh, 1984, it came out, uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. And I didn't know this, I, I found this out after looking this up. But this is the movie that gave birth to Studio Ghibli and uh, Miyakazi's success, uh, Nasca Valley of the Wind, was so successful that uh, Mia, um, Miyakazi started Studio Ghibli uh, with just, you know, kicking that off into Studio Ghibli. Fantastic. And a couple of other animations, old school, that I've watched the most uh, would be Heavy Metal from 1981 fantastic uh, and it has Vancouver roots to it I believe some of the production was done here uh, or finance from here and Lord of the Rings the 1978 animation that was uh, um, Bakshi Ralph Bakshi a fantastic uh, amazing animation uh, too bad they ran out of money to finish the whole thing off um, but fantastic animation and I saw both of these in the movie theater um, uh, heavy metal I got in I was a kid but I got in and uh, Lord of the Rings was a double feature with uh, Clash of the Titans and I went on a matinee by myself and watched it it was fantastic right um, so those are 10 movies animated movies that I watched multiple times and I will continue to watch multiple times um, as far as uh, animated series are concerned uh, five animated series that I looped. So I started watching them, finished them, and I went back to the beginning and started again, okay? And these are the only five that I can remember looping. And I've watched them um, again. I've watched some of the episodes again, and a couple of these I've watched, I've looped again, I've watched from beginning to end again. And uh, the first one, um, the series that I've looped the most, uh, would be Cowboy Bebop. Uh, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, from 1998, um, 1999, there's 26 episodes. Um, the soundtrack is absolutely magnificent for it. It's uh, layered with uh, blues, jazz, and a little bit of metal uh, in there for uh, Cowboy Bebop. So absolutely amazing series. And... Um, it's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, the director for this is uh, Shina, Shini, Shiro Watanabe, Watanabe. Um, and 
it's his everything is directed there's only one series that i haven't seen that he's directed is the last one that came out uh it's because i you know i haven't found dumb versions of the of, of these yet and you know i'm sorry to the purists but um i i like watching animation that's dubbed i don't want to read subtitles for animation i've watched a lot of animation with subtitles because i couldn't wait right like it's, uh, last exile uh, a fantastic series i watched that with the subtitles and a few other ones but i really like uh, my animation with visuals and there are amazing english voice actors that dub these um, and it is you know voice actors that do all animations so i believe with english it works as well um, so that's the only series that i haven't watched of watanabe is uh, is the last one because i haven't found a dub version but i've looped uh, other i've watched almost all the other series that he's put out multiple times uh, okay uh, and the second one from this uh from the same director is samurai champloo and as soon as i watched samurai champloo to the end 26 episodes again i looped it again a fantastic series and again the soundtrack for this mind-blowing and the soundtrack was uh uh, with uh, Nujabas and Fat John put it together and uh, for me uh, one of the saddest weeks uh, uh, in my life when I found out Nujabas uh, passed away in a, uh, in a car accident right so amazing amazing uh, soundtrack to that series so the second one Samurai Champloo um, the third animated series that I looped and this was a biggie um, it was uh, Samurai Jack and I watched all the way to the fifth you know episode number 52 and I didn't have 53 and I went online trying to find out you know where episode number 53 was and uh, I found out he stopped making Samurai Jack because um, from what I understand uh, George Lucas wanted to do an animated series for Star Wars and he loved Samurai Jack so much that he asked um and samurai jack is put together by uh, uh Jen, Jen De, Jen De Tak, Tak i'm sorry um and he's he's a director for so he approached the director the producer of samurai jack uh george lucas and he t you know he asked him if he would do uh star wars animation and he turned George Lucas down and multiple times from what I've what I've understand and then George Lucas came and offered him offered him a ridiculous sum of money and he you know stopped Samurai Jack and went and did the Star Wars Clone Wars series and it's a fantastic series if if you want to watch another series um, that he's produced that one is fantastic as well um, and supposedly he's going to come back and do another finish off Samurai Jack so we hope right so that one I looped again 52 episodes absolutely magnificent uh, the fourth series that I've looped uh, would be the boondocks uh, and I've actually looped this three times uh, I went through it you know I watched it once three seasons and then watched it again and then I watched it again because there was no fourth season um, until in 2014 uh, where they put out season four okay and from what i understand uh, the creator of boondocks didn't have anything to do with season four they had a falling out but it's a good season as well um and number five uh, the series that i loop would be avatar the last airbender that came out in 2000 and it was 2005 to 2008 and um 61 episodes three seasons and when i finished watching them i watched the whole thing again because it was so fun okay um just because i you know uh some of the animated series that i watched i haven't looked doesn't mean they're not uh, brilliant right so i made another list um uh, here's six uh animated series that i will watch again okay so i've already finished off these series um but this is uh six more that i will watch again i just need to take a sip So six animated series uh, that I will definitely watch again. Uh, 
Um, the first one would be Full Metal um, Alchemist. And uh, the reason I would, you know, Full Metal Alchemist didn't make my, uh, you know, five series or it would have been six series that I looped was because now after I finished Full Metal Alchemist, I hadn't, you know, I wanted more. And I found out they put out another series called Full Metal Alchemist um, uh, Brotherhood, right? So instead of looping Full Metal Alchemist, I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, so it's a fantastic. They're both, uh, I really love both of them. Um, I know Brotherhood doesn't get as much love, but uh, for me, it was it was magnificent as well. Um, but Full Metal Alchemist, the first series, a fantastic series. Um, and it's got, uh, the first the first one's got 51 episodes and the second one's got uh, 64. Um, and again, they were adapted from manga, uh, which is sort of different than uh, Cowboy Bebop, I guess, Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I believe the animation came out and then, and then they did the manga. Um, the second series I will watch again is uh, Bubblegum Crisis, uh, Tokyo 2040. Okay, uh, I watched it and it was fantastic. And then, uh, you know, I watched some of the episodes again. So I would definitely rewatch the whole thing again. I really liked it. I really liked the feel of that show. Um, very well done. Um, third one, third series that I will definitely plan on rewatching at some point in my life is South Park um, you know I've watched all 19 episodes I guess 18 episodes 19 episodes uh, some of them I watched again and again and again and there's 267 um, and they're still um, doing a fantastic job very relevant fantastic series not every episode is brilliant but um, overall as a whole whole package absolutely magnificent um, the fourth series I will definitely be watching again is uh, Space Dandy um, again the same person that's done the Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo I will definitely be watching that again um, the fifth series that I will definitely rewatch all of it again at some point and I'll watch certain episodes multiple times is uh, Duckman a uh, series that came out from 1994 to 1997, four seasons, 70 episodes, fantastic series. And uh, the six series, um, a sort of two series, uh, definitely Star Wars Clone Wars, the 93, 2003-2005 uh, uh, series that was directed by the, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name again. Uh, same person that did Samurai Jack, right? That's the he's the person that George Lucas got to do the Star Wars. That's a fantastic series, and the next Star Wars Clone Wars series that came out that came out in two thousand and eight. Um, I wouldn't watch all of it again, but there are certain segments, certain runs in there that they're brilliant. They I would definitely be. I'm definitely going to be rewatching those again. And this series, um, Star Wars Clone Wars, the animated series, uh, the 2003 series and the 2008 series have some of the most amazing uh, Jedi and Sith battles ever. Some of the most amazing lightsaber and just battles between the bounty hunters and the Jedi and all of them. They're absolutely fantastic, right? So both those series... Uh, uh, for the second for Clone Wars animation, I'll definitely be watching some of those again. Okay. Uh, so those are some of my uh, favorite animated visuals, I guess, uh, TV shows or uh, series or movies. Um, let's talk about comic books. Um, so as far as comic books goes um again i broke down into this into uh two sets of comic books uh categories the first one is uh five comic comic book series that i finished like i've read every every issue right and the second category is uh, 10 comic book series that i plan on finishing so i haven't even touched on some of my individual standalone uh, 
comic books are or some of the minis um, would be these are uh, long uh, comic book series volumes I guess you can call them okay so five comic book series that are finished that I think they're absolutely brilliant um, the first one would be trans metropolitan by Warren Ellis and uh, uh, Derek Robertson um, and that came out uh, it ran from 1997 to 2002 60 issues absolutely fantastic by uh, vertigo by DC comics okay well well worth the read the second series comic book series that I finished uh, that I think is one of the most the best comic book series I've ever read in my life uh, was the 2012 uh, Archer and Armstrong series um, by Fred Van Lent and Clayton Henry it ran for 25 issues plus issue number zero and it's from Valiant Comics um, and it went from uh, it ran from 2012 to 2014 super super fun um, now I mentioned this before in one of the first videos I ever created for the language of mathematics um, which was five book recommendations and I recommended this as well as a break from all the science and the mathematics uh, which is Bone by Jeff Smith and he originally self-published this uh, with cartoon books and then went to Image and it ran for 55 issues from 1991 to 2004 um, and it's all compiled together in one thick book that you can grab and read fantastic read and I've read that I don't know at least, at least two I think three times now uh, the second comic book uh, it's not comic books but comic book strips that I've read all of multiple times is Calvin and Hobbes by uh, Bill Watterson um, a cartoon it's basically a cartoon strip syndicated cartoon strip that ran from 1995 to 1990 uh, 1985 to 1995 and you know they come in volumes and there's the Sunday specials and the strips and strips with the Sunday special uh, absolutely fantastic right um, and the fifth animated series uh, and the comic book series that I've read uh, is a manga which is called Akira um, by Katsu, Katsuhiro Otomo, Otomo, Otomo uh, from 1992 and it was adapted into English in 1998 uh, fantastic fantastic manga fantastic comic book reveals like I read the manga uh, the comic book way later after watching Akira multiple times and after watching the animation the movie uh, after you've read the comic book you're like wow like there's maybe a 10 five second segment 10 second segment in the animation that's you know a whole volume uh, in the manga right uh, multiple issues so if you like the animation the movie uh, you should definitely read the uh, read the manga it's fantastic right so those are five comic book series that I've read that are absolutely magnificent and here is uh, 10 comic book series uh, that I plan on finishing that I've read uh, with only one of these I've only read a little bit uh, but for most of them I've read a fair bit I just haven't finished because there's so much of it right uh, the first one is Hellblazer uh, various artists various writers it ran for 300 issues from 1988 to 2013 and it's brilliant uh, it's one of my all-time favorite comic book series um, the walking dead by Kirkman uh, Tony Moore and Charlie Ad Adlard um, it started in 2003 and it ran for 155 well it's at 155 issues and I've only read 68 and uh, I started reading this because of a comment that was posted on the first uh, video that I put out uh, giving comic book recommendations where I recommended Bone by Jeff Smith and someone I believe it posted a comment that sent me uh, a message personal message saying you know I should be reading The Walking Dead 
so I tracked down The Walking Dead and it was a period where I wasn't reading too many comic books uh, and I started reading it and within a week and a half I read like it took me about four days to read 10 issues and then it, I read the the rest of it which was like 50 58 issues in a matter of a week I was staying up until the middle of the night reading Walking Dead the cliffhangers for Walking Dead are amazing um, you know I will definitely finish off the series uh, 100% uh, I'm just waiting to do another binge read on it uh, Preacher by Garth Ennis um, I haven't finished it uh, it ran for 66 issues so I you know I don't even know which parts I've read I think I've read uh, I'm pretty sure I read the beginning I'm not so sure anymore because I read a long time ago um, Savage Sword of Conan uh, I've read a ton of it I haven't read all of it okay and it's got 235 issues in it and I've read probably a hundred maybe uh, looking forward to reading the whole thing it's my favorite uh, comic book series of all time really for any genre um, this and Hellblazer top two um, and it's got multiple artists um, Roy Thompson yeah Roy Thompson uh, was a main writer for a lot of them and the artists some of the ones that i've read that i've loved a lot uh ernie ernie chan um dick Giardon, giardono barry windsor smith obviously uh boshima and pablo marcos those are some of the ones that i've really liked a lot okay and one thing i found that after just digging down some of this info for it um because savage sword of conan uh, was not comic book format it was magazine format it didn't have to abide by the comic book code uh so that's why i didn't know this that's why it was a little always felt more intense than the rest of the stuff i was reading okay uh i plan on reading saga uh, by brian uh vegan wagen and fiona staples I've only read I don't even I haven't even read a full page full uh, uh, comic yet I've read pages from different different issues right and I've heard it's amazing and a lot of people I've talked to that I respect their opinions they're asking me why I'm not reading it is because I didn't get on it right away um, and, and I have a lot on my table right now that I'm reading and at some point I'm gonna just sit down and do a walking dead on it and just binge read you know 60 issues or something i think it's at 35 issues right now uh, another series that i plan on reading uh finishing uh and i've only read i think like three four no i've read more than that um i start picking these up at the library i've read probably six or seven volumes on this uh which is lone wolf and cub uh by uh, kazuo Koki and Gosiki Kojima and I you know what the dates on this I didn't realize it was this uh, from 1970 to 1976 that's when the series um, these comics were put out uh, I didn't notice when I was reading it I thought Lone Wolf of Cubs still being put out I guess um, the stuff that uh, Dark Horse was doing was reprints or maybe some new stories I don't know I gotta look into it more uh, but fantastic what I read was absolutely amazing uh, another series that I've oh, I'm so close to finishing but I didn't finish it so um, because this one actually I was reading it from the library as well I was going to my library um, so DMZ by Brian Wood and uh, uh, Bor Borsila Borchili Ricardo Borchili uh, it ran from 2005 to 2012 um, 75 issues uh, oh sorry no 72 issues uh, and I've read a fair bit of it I haven't finished it um, another one that I haven't finished Sandman by Neil Gaiman I'm not sure why I never finished that you go through periods right um, it ran from 1989 to 1996 and I you know I don't think I've read the last third ran for 75 issues uh, and I'll have to read from the beginning again Sandman was pretty intricate so um, I'll definitely be reading it as a binge read at some point doing a marathon on it uh, 100 
Bullets by Brian Azzarello. And Brian Azzarello is one of my favorite writers. I try to pick up a lot from him. Um, he's definitely one of my favorite writers for the stuff he did on Hellblazer. And right now he's doing American Monster for Aftershock, which is fantastic. So 100 Bullets uh, by Brian Azzarello. And um, what do you call that? Uh, um, American Monster is very reminiscent of uh, 100 Bullets. Um, and I read for 100 issues and I haven't read all of it. I've read maybe, I think less than a half. Uh, and I've read a lot of Why the Last Man by uh, Brian Vaughan uh, and Pia Gura, and it ran from 2002 to 2008. Um, I've read a fair bit of it, but I haven't finished it. Um, and I definitely want to finish it. Uh, it was a fun read. Okay. And that's uh, that's sort of some of my favorites, favorite list, I guess. Um, I'll definitely be open to expanding on these a little bit more, uh, critiquing some of these, even just one or two. I know I could go off on Cowboy Bebop and uh, I come and see, and you know, well, I'm Reich and Hal, and definitely education, the significance of life, and whatnot, right? Um, so basically, we'll consider this to be the introductory video uh, to a QA. Uh, for my channel uh, we'll call this in conversation with Chicho um, what would you like to know basically um, so if you have questions comments recommendations um, open anything goes because this goes on Chicho right and I will do my best uh, to be as forward as possible uh, and uh, give you my opinion and I'm very straightforward, so I don't really mince words. Uh, and, you know, take uh, my perspective as you wish, okay? With a grain of salt or to heart or whatnot, or as entertainment, if you like, okay? Uh, or as a relaxing tool. Um, but I'll be as honest as I can be um, for anything that I do decide to do, and I will you know try my best to answer as many questions as possible okay that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video